Hey, all my YouTube viewing, coffee drinking, sis admins, it's Lex. <laughs> I'm Shane from PDQ.com. We're going to take you through best practices for testing your scheduled deployments. All right, scheduled deployments, mm -hmm. you know, things you want to go out into production on a regular basis. We'll say Chrome. Well, let's just talk about Chrome, I guess. Chrome's a great example. First thing you're going to want to do is build a static collection of machines that you want to test with. Yeah, so uh, here, these are going to be, you, you choose, there's a couple of ways to do this, but a very popular way is, Grab a couple of computers from each department uh, or each business unit. Make sure that who, whoever runs these computers actually uses the software. That's kind of the, the, the point of it. Um, we're going to put these in a static collection, and these are just, we're going to call these like test machines mm -hmm. or test deployments or something. And uh, we're going to download Chrome again, but we're going to do it slightly different. We're going we're gonna to change the, the auto approval settings on this. I just want to point out, it's also good to stick someone's machine in here you don't like. You know, it's the whole reason to be a sysadmin, right? Vengeance. Not the whole reason, but a good reason. Well, a very good reason. All right. So back to what you were saying. Let's go take a look at, you know, here's our production Chrome that we downloaded. And under Options, Preferences, Auto Downloads, we've got everything set globally to be auto-approved after seven days. That's the default. Mm -hmm. you, this might change in your environment, but that means that we already have Chrome Enterprise ready to go, and the next version that comes out will be auto-approved in seven days if you don't approve it before that. We want to download another one that we have a, that has a different approval. So we're grabbing the exact same version of Chrome mm -hmm. and download. You'll notice this time it's downloading with the number two at the end of it. I'm just going to go rename that so we know that this one specifically is the test. Yeah, test or first run or whatever. But yeah, I'm just going to call it test because it's easier for me to spell. That's fine. You're awesome. Now we want to change the auto down or the auto approve, right? Yep. You go to options, auto right. download, and now we're just going to say immediate. That means when this particular package sees that a new version of Chrome is available, it's not going to wait seven days. It's just the second it sees it, it's going to download that new version of Chrome for this particular package. Now the only thing left to do at this point, well maybe not the only thing, but the next thing you definitely want to do is schedule. Yep, build a schedule. Very important piece. Yep. You can do all of this that we've done heretofore, and you're not going to do. You're not going to see the the benefits. All right. Make sure you tag this as your test or your non-production schedule. All right. Triggers. I'm going to send this. You can do this hourly if you want. I just figure once a day is probably good enough for us. 8 p.m. Sure. Targets. This is that collection, that static collection you built. In inventory, I'm like the king of the mouse scroll. Test machines. There it is. Give it an OK. And then, obviously, an option stop deploying targets once they succeed. Yeah, you don't want to push the same version of Chrome out every day. Only This will only push it out uh, once a machine succeeds. Mm -hmm. It will not receive that version again. So, in essence, what's going to happen? New Chrome comes out today. It gets downloaded immediately. Tonight at 8 o'clock, it gets deployed to our test machines. Mm -hmm. We don't hear anything from anybody. We should be good to go to let production go on its own. If we do hear that there's a problem, all you have to do is right click on your schedule. Oh, the other one, the test one. Well, we oh, want, you're talking about the, yeah, you're talking, sorry, sorry. We're gonna disable the production schedule so it doesn't go out to everybody, figure out what's going on. Mm -hmm. So we don't have to rebuild it. Once we figure it out, we can just enable it again. That sounds great. Fantastic. That's how you do it, guys. That's Well, it's one way, right? The best way. Our way is always the best way. Absolutely. I'm Lex. I'm Shane. From PDQ.com.